Expressing Money In this module, you will Recap Coins and Notes from 1 to 2000 Know more coins of different paise and Express money in figures and words Neil's mother finds her old piggy bank while cleaning the house on Diwali. She misplaced it a few months back. Now she opens up and sees the coins and notes she has in the piggy bank. With all other notes and coins, she sees a collection of various coins which are not used nowadays. Neil asks her to show those coins to him. So, she shows him the coins one by one. One paisa, two paise, three paise, five paise, ten paise, twenty paise, and twenty-five paise. Neil asks, why these coins are not used nowadays? The mother tells him that the cost of the items increased in rupees. We can't use these paisa coins to buy the things. For example, earlier we bought a cold drink can or bottle with a 10 paisa coin. But nowadays the cost of a cold drink is in rupees. Neil asks her to give him some money as he has to go out with his friends to eat something. Therefore, his mother gives him one 10 rupee note, one 20 rupee note, 150 rupee note, 100 rupee note, and 150 paise coin. His mother tells him to record the amount in his notebook so that she knows how much money she gives him. Neil adds up the amount of all the notes to find out how much money he gets by his mother and then expresses or writes the amount both in words and figures. Do you notice something when Neil writes the amounts both in figure and words? Now, can you tell how much money he has with him? In the amount 180 rupees and 50 paisa, 180 is rupees and 50 is paisa. The dot separates the rupees from paisa. If the paise are lesser than 10, you can write a zero after the dot. For example, 3 rupees 5 paise. Let's recap. The money can be written both in words and figures. The dot separates the rupee from the paise. The number to the left of the dot shows the rupees. The number to the right of the dot shows the paise. If the paise are lesser than 10, we write a zero after a dot.